Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post app tutorial for beginners and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we will discuss that how can we render data to our custom columns that we have added in our previous video session with custom post type movie. So inside this video session guys, we will use the action hook called manage post type post custom column okay and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of custom post type tutorial to get the clear vision about this playlist if you have started this playlist from this video session guys then i strongly suggest you to go to youtube and now inside this playlist you can find all the videos and for the code section you can just read this to github repository to download our previous code so just back to editor and now this is the code section guys that we have did so far with the custom post type plugin that we have made okay so what actually we are going to do inside this video session basically if I go to movies this is the custom post app that we have registered and now in our pre pre previous video session that is in part 4 we have registered two custom columns that is publisher email and the publisher name so we want that according to these movies correspondingly we need to show the publisher email and the publisher name also just back to editor and now first of all we have to copy this action hook that we are going to use okay so just I'm going to copy back to editor scroll down and let's say that add action inside this add action function just I'm going to paste it and this is the post type if you have remembered guys then this is the post type that we have registered and now inside this register post type this is called the post type okay so I'm just copy this name movie and now inside this post type I'm going to replace that okay so second function we need to pass a callback function so WPL or WT custom post type and let's say that custom columns data next we have to define this function okay so let's say that function and this is a function that we have to define so basically guys this function will take two parameters okay so before declaring those variables inside this function we need to tell this action hook that this function will take two parameters so this is the parameter that is the priority execution and number two indicates that we are going to pass two variables inside this callback function okay so just I'm going to pass the two parameters first that is column okay and the second that is called post ID okay so now how can we use or how can we assign the values to these columns that we have made so first of all we have to make a switch case inside this callback function okay inside this switch case we need to pass the column okay so just pass that and now inside this switch case we need to check that this column is actually let's say that case and this column is actually pub email if the column is pub email means by getting the pub email as the column name what we have to do right now so now we actually we need to find or we need to retrieve the value of pub email from our database table that is post meta that if you have remember guys then we actually saved the called WPL producer email this is the key that we have used to save the email of our producer to WP post meta table by using our math function called update post meta okay so if you go to editor and now if you scroll up so this is the WP update post meta function we have used to insert our details okay and this is the key that we have used called WPL producer email so we want to retrieve this value after getting the column as pub email okay so let's say that publisher email equal to get post meta and now inside this get post meta function this is a WordPress function basically retrieves a value of that key actually we are going to pass inside this function okay first parameter it will take the post ID second the key name this is the key name to retrieve the email section and now the third parameter that is the true value because we are retrieving we want to retrieve the single value okay and now just break this case let's say break okay let's echo this publisher email before the break section okay so let's echo and the publisher email okay so if we save this file 
if I save this file just back to browser and reload this page. Now as we can see that inside this publisher email section we have now data okay that is this email is regarding of this publisher email. So if I click on add data icon and now as we can see that this is test2 at gmail.com. So successfully we have retrieved the corresponding publisher email of that movie. This is the movie that we have made which does not contains any value of publisher email as the publisher name okay. So if I click on edit icon and let's pass off the value like Sanjay Kumar and let's say Sanjay at gmail.com this is the dummy email that we have passed just I'm clicking to update successfully after updating if I back to all movies so this is the email section that we have actually passed with this movie okay so now what we have to do next we have to retrieve the publisher name as well okay so just back to editor and let's say that if case is something called pub name the key that we have assigned with the column pub name okay so just make copy this pub name back here and let's say that after getting pub name finally break to that let's say that echo this is pub name okay so if I save this file back to browser and reload this page so these are the messages that we successfully got inside this publisher in name okay so now if I go to post media table this is the email this is the key that we have to use to retrieve the production name as well okay so just back to editor and now instead of this message let's say publisher name equal to get post meta inside this get post meta function we need to pass the post id and the second that the key that is wpl producer name and the finally the true value and now just copy this variable name and let's echo okay so if i save this just back to browser reload this administrator panel and successfully we are actually getting the publisher name as well okay so now the main concern of this video session is guys that how can we render data to our custom columns we have completed so just back to editor once we are going to review all the things that we have studied so far okay how can we actually get the data to our custom columns first we have made our columns here by using the action who called manage this is the post type and post columns here we have ma made inside this columns array as the key value pair these key are the IDs of these columns okay so by the help of these IDs actually we are going to assign some value by action who called manage post type that is post columns custom columns okay so by the help of those ID by getting called publisher email and the publisher name we have rendered those datas okay so successfully guys I think that we have discussed about the rendering data to our custom columns of our custom post type so I hope that you understood as well and you can implement in your project okay so in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day